Transformational leadership is a concept that's been around a long time, and yet most individuals still don't really understand what it means for them to be a transformation leader. In essence, all that really means is that you as the leader, you see the people on your team as individuals and you inspire them to be their best. Now, when I say you see them, I'm not saying that you literally see them only, but you actually recognize them as individuals who have burdens and dreams and passions and hopes and aspirations and families and goals outside of what they do for their nine to five. You see them as a whole person and you inspire them, their whole person, to be their best selves, not just what they do for you during that nine to five. Now, an alternative to transformational leadership is what we would call transactional leadership. And transactional leadership isn't altogether bad, it just doesn't produce the same results that transformational leadership produces. Transactional leadership says, if you do good, I will reward you, and if you do bad, there will be consequences. It's a transaction. I give you bonus, you perform, you don't perform, you don't get bonus. That's a transaction. And there are a lot of leaders who lean into transactional leadership. And they do this primarily because it's easier, it doesn't require as much time, energy, and effort, because simply you set the parameters, and if your team meets those parameters, they get a cookie. If they don't meet the parameters, then you don't give them that cookie. However, transformational leadership, it takes more time, it takes more energy, and it takes more effort because you're actually trying to inspire the best out of every individual on your team. It's not something you can do on the side or just real quick, but it's an investment of your time, energy, and whole person as a leader into your team. And yet, the outcome of transformational leadership is something far beyond what you can ever imagine achieving with transactional leadership. Now, if you are a transactional leader, you can still have a team that is somewhat successful. I'm sure they'll, they'll meet their benchmarks, and if they don't meet their benchmarks, you might remove them or demote them or you know move them out of the organization. And so you can build a team of individuals who will be successful, but if you want exceptional service, if you want extraordinary service and an exceptional team, then you can't settle for transactional you've got to go a little bit higher to transformational. And so I wanna encourage you, just start noticing the people on your team. Have one-on-ones with them and make those one-on-ones about them. Inquire about the things that are important to them, their dreams, their aspirations, their hopes, and see them as a whole person. And then figure out how you, as the leader, can leverage your energy and your resources to help them, the individuals on your team, experience their best selves.